Once we change our whole thought process, that's when it starts showing some interest in it. I think that's when it'll make a difference. A former Jacksonville Sheriff's detective is on a mission to stop the violence on the First Coast, and his mission is personal. His son was killed in a shooting in 2015. Kim Varner began walking the streets on the day of his son's funeral to get people to pay attention to what's happening in their communities. On your side, Robert Bradfield is speaking with Varner tonight about the efforts to get people to put down their guns. When you hear about a shooting, you don't, you know, it, it, it's just another shooting. You walk right on past it and think, okay, somebody got shot. It's that mindset Kim Varner says has become acceptable on the First Coast. Crime scenes seen as commonplace throughout Duval County. The neighborhoods just gotta, it's gotta go back to old school. When, when, when it took a, a village to raise a child, we gotta go back to the village uh, theory. Varner was part of Cure Violence when it started last year, a program to reduce crime in Jacksonville. He believes the program is working, but it needs more support, more people who are willing to get off the couch and walk their streets. All it is is walking up to a guy and say, hey man, I don't care about you. Hustling, whatever you're doing, just stop killing each other. Let's put these guns down and stop killing each other. Varner began those neighborhood walks before Cure Violence began. He now mentors children and young adults like Alfonso Davis. I don't want to be in the wrong place at the wrong time and end up becoming a victim. Varner also urging companies to hire at-risk youth, offering them a job to help keep them off the streets and away from a bad crowd. And I found that if you give them a job, give them something to do, they, they, they want to work and they don't want to be looking over their shoulders. A father who lost his son, now honoring him by making sure other parents don't have to bury their children. In Jacksonville, Robert Bradfield, First Coast News, on your side.